So hey, today we're inside. Uh, after showing you that greenhouse, I said I'd show you the uh, the plans for the chicken coop. This is what's going in. Um, it's on. I drew this on Google SketchUp, uh, but um, it's uh, just to give you a, a feel for what it looks like and design it out in my head of how I want it to be. This is the coop uh, part. If, hopefully you can see my mouse. I don't know, can you? I hope so. I've never done this before, so whatever. But, um, we zoom out and pan over. This is the coop part. I have a large window, uh, that, um, is going in there. It'll just be a viewing window. And so you can see what exactly is going on. A door, just a standard exterior door. And even on the inside, we have an exterior door, too. Um, and then that'll be two windows on the interior and an automatic chicken door thing. But that's that's heading out of the uh, the coop end of the run. But um, So it'll have this exterior door, two windows with a screened-in portion. And then on one side, this window will uh, uh, open up to allow airflow and get the, the, the you know chicken poop smell flowing out this way. So it's not, hopefully not too bad while you're in there. This is a door down here on the bottom. Uh, uh, this section uh, that can lift up it'll be on hinges and lift up and allow for all the hay and chicken manure portions to uh, scrape off. Here's a drain that um, or just the, the gutter that hangs off the roof. I'm looking at materials now. The, this is uh, 8 feet using 4x4 four four posts uh, on the side and then uh, this will be uh, I think it's I don't know, like 12 and a half feet because you have to have two and a half by 12 and this thing is is uh, 12 feet long. So that's that's the coop. The dimensions are of the whole thing. Uh, the coop is 12. The, uh, the length is 40. Um, again, the coop is 12. And the run is then 88 feet long. You can see down there. And let me show you this run uh, picture again. Uh, it's a big structure. Uh, I'm, I'm, there's my cat in the picture. Hopefully this isn't ruined, but whatever, you get the idea. She's really cool. Still doesn't have a name yet. Submit something, you might win a prize. Um, but, um, so these, these will be 4x4 four four posts every other where you see this, this rafter tie. And, uh, Lowe's, uh, there isn't a Home Depot really near me, but Lowe's, uh, sells three foot rapid wire. Uh, and it starts small mesh at the bottom and leads to that 2x4 welded wire block. It's galvanized. It looks really good. I'm going to put that out uh, down here uh, so that it will give a little bit space off the deck. And then up here um, will be uh, just your standard chicken wire. So we're building like a rafter type system with then one that goes in, in across to just support it a little bit. One door on the exterior. Uh, and then on the inside uh, there will be I'm going to, since because we have a water line that comes right across this northern edge in this picture, um, the, uh, um, I'll, I'll put a water feed, a line in there so I can just go in there and feed, and feed and water them outside in their run too, and then, uh, even inside. Inside on the wall, let me see if I can pan through here. Here we go. I made this mark in the center because I'm going to put a sink there. Uh, so the water line is through the back and just come up, uh, insulate the water line and put a stainless steel sink that I can wash eggs on. And then uh, a cabinet or one of those, uh, like I don't know, I'll see about that, but a cabinet that extends off uh, from here, uh, higher than that I would think. Um, but you get the idea. So uh, that's, the, that's my idea for the chicken coop. Uh, questions, comments, concerns. Oh, over here, uh, there's still more. Um, I'd like to. I'd really like any sort of like opinions that you guys have on this because this is my first. This is not my first chicken coop design, but it's the first one that I've like built and really thought about for a long time. And it should be thought about because the whole dimensions again are uh, like a hundred by forty, uh, and I plan to have like a hundred to two hundred birds, probably closer to the one hundred bird side, um, and go through. Uh, you know. Use the corn that's grown on the front fields and uh, feed the animals with that. But anyway, uh, over here, um, let me see if I can do this. All right, yeah. What I was thinking about doing is having, you see those easy access coops have some, some nesting boxes that came across here. 
uh, through these two windows, like between the two, that we filled with nesting boxes that you could access through uh, that look like, um, you know what I'm talking about. So you have that like slanted roof coming down. And you can easily access them through that box here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have that. So on the inside, you have your nesting box, and on the outside, you have your access port to them. But uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so you don't have to go in there uh, in the mornings uh, to get it. You just got to go out there like every other day and scoop out the coop and replace the hay, you know. But, um,. On the inside, so nesting boxes will be against this wall. Um, and then on the far wall, this is where I'm going to put their roosting poles. Uh, and have a, a bar that's on a hinge come down at an angle with the roosting poles attached to that. They go across uh, horizontally in this picture, like this. And then so when it's time to clean them, they'll be hinged and I can lift them up and chain them to the ceiling on eye hooks. Uh, that will then uh, let, allow me to push all, out all the hay that's underneath into the compost piles which are directly behind uh, the chicken coop. Um, the water, I might use that uh, to do some waters or stuff, but uh, like use a solar 12 volt pump and pump that back in after collecting it in rain barrels. But uh, we'll see about that. It's hooked up to the well, it's right next door. Uh, so like if I could just put like solar panels or off-grid set up that well, that'd be really good. Again, back at the run uh, over here, this door, I'll be able to uh, let them to be free range out if I really want them to. Like under, they really like comfrey and stuff, which will be next to the fruit trees. Uh, and so I can let them out there occasionally. That's all in like the relative vicinity. But um, like I'd really like to hear your opinions on this. If you like the design, if you don't, uh, we'd have one uh, one post. Uh, put in the center to support this A-frame and then frame it all in with 2x4s uh, and then paint it or stain it. Uh, use treated uh, lumber on the outside. On the inside floor use like treated decking so I can just come in with a um, you know what I'm talking about pressure washer and uh, do it. The roof will be uh, that green uh, metal roofing uh, and that's why it's important to have the dimensions the way they are so hopefully that'll work out. Um, this is my first time using SketchUp, so the first project I've, I've done like this. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, questions, comments, concerns.